Hello friends, welcome to another video tutorial from Shomu's Biology. And in this video lecture, I'll be talking about the difference between multiple allele and polygenic inheritance. So, you know, you probably heard these two names and kind of confused about it. Multiple allele and polygenic inheritance. What are the difference? You know, the most important idea about these two differences to understand is to just look at their names. It will get you the clear idea. Now, the thing is, you know, we have a gene. A gene is responsible for development of a trait, which is a phenotypic expression of that gene that we can see. So, one gene have different version, okay. Uh, one is a dominant version, for example, say, other one is the recessive version. This version of the genes are known as alleles, okay. So, multiple allele inheritance means multiple alleles will be involved in controlling one trait. That means, that could be based on one gene because one gene have multiple alleles. So, one gene can control a trait and that could be known as a multiple allelic trait. For example, uh, uh, let us say, uh, if I talk about the eye color, eye color in Drosophila, eye color in Drosophila for example, controlled by one gene and two different version of that, black and brown, black is the dominant capital B, brown is small b. So, this is, they both of them controls the inheritance pattern. For example, I can tell another thing, the blood group, human blood group. In human blood group, you know, the presence of specific uh, molecules like antigens, we call them agglutinogen and stuff that is present in on top of RBCs, uh, based on that we ca categorize them. Now, there could be A, B, these are the two types that are possible, two different versions of that gene that are possible, two different alleles A and B. This control all the four types of group that is formed, because here we can see the combinatory effect. We can see combinatory effect or you may not see combinatory effect, but the idea is two alleles or more than two alleles controlling one particular trait. Okay? Now, in case of Drosophila, you say all, this is only one gene, eye color gene, two different alleles for that. So, multiple allele inheritance. For example, if capital B, capital B, black color, capital B, small b, black color, small b, small b, brown color. That is the only idea. In this case of human blood group, we know this A, B, there are two different alleles, A and B. If A is present, blood group A. If B is present, blood group B. Now, if A, B both are present, that could give us a third group because this is kind of a co-dominance feature which is also involved with the multiple allele. Only two alleles here, but four groups are generated. If A present A, if B present blood group B, if AB present blood group AB, if none of them present fourth type of blood group, blood group O. Okay? So, it is a blend of multiple allele inheritance with co-dominance. That is why you see so many varieties. Otherwise, for a multiple alleles which is controlled, which can be controlled by one gene, you see the eye color of Drosophila. On the other hand, if we take about polygenic inheritance, this is far more complex. Polygenic means poly means multiple, genic. So, it is multiple genes will be involved to develop a characteristics. Okay? So, multiple gene, polygene, that means multiple gene, multiple gene, means say three genes are involved. Now, we know let us say gene A, gene B, gene C. Now, we also know each of those gene have multiple alleles, right. So, A may have capital A small a, B have capital B small b, C have capital C small c. So, now you see polygene means multiple gene now, for each gene, there are multiple alleles. 
right? So this is a complicated format of multiple allele. And we call a trait polygene when it's controlled more than one gene. In this case, we see one trait, for example, the skin color of human or the eye color or pigmentation of human and the height of human or animals, all of these characteristics are controlled by more than three genes or at least three genes. So you see there are so many combinations possible because there are six different versions of alleles are present. So, so many combinations ranging the two rarest combination capital A, capital B, capital B, capital B, capital C, capital C. This is the rarest one and again small a, small a, small b, small b, small c, small c. This is another rarest one. Now this one let us say capital A is for the dark uh, say, say, say the whiter tone of the skin. So all capital means this is the whitest skin tone and all small means this is the darkest skin tone and rest of the combinations that we placed in the middle will have different features, different variations in the skin tone. So if you plot the graph of a polygenic inheritance, you, it will form a bell shaped curve okay? where the average, where the most people will contain the average skin tone. This is the number of people or population will get the average skin tone and that is capital A small a, capital B small b, capital C small c. This will be the most predominant form. It is a stabilizing type of selection. Most predominant form will be the average one, combination of both. So that is the difference of multiple allele and polygenic. Multiple allele means one gene controls multiple allele for that gene. Polygenic means multiple genes. So for each gene there are multiple alleles even. So it's much complicated expression. So that in a sense is the difference between multiple alleles and polygenic inheritance. Okay? I hope you like this video. If you like, like this video, please hit the like button, subscribe to my channel and share this video because that's how we grow. Thank you.